Hello, so in this video we are going to see how you can download Gitbash. So for that we have to just search for Gitbash download for Windows and then go to this first link. I provide this link in the description also. And after that, just click on Windows for whatever OS you're using if you want to download it for your OS, Mac OS, Linux or Windows. So I'm going to download it for Windows, so just click on Windows. So after that, I want to download a 64-bit version uh, that is in a standalone installer. So I'll click on this. So now you see here download is starting. Let it download. So after this download is complete, just open that file. Open that file and you're going to see this kind of pop up. Just say yes to that. And after that, you will see a pop up pairing here. So just say next, say next, say, and you can have an additional X uh, icon on the desktop. So just click on this, say next here. And you can also say next here. If you don't want to create a start menu folder, then uh, just click on, take on this. But for now, I'm going to keep as untick. So next, so we are going to use Vim as a default editor in the git bash. So we are going to say keep it as the same. So say next, and we are going to keep all the settings as default. So so also let get decide after that we are going to keep this also as a default this also as a default whatever it is use the openness so that you don't need to buy it for that this also we are going to keep as checkout window style and commit unique style line endings so we are going to say next is main tty you can as the same the power Fast forward for much is default and the key. And we are going to use credential as Git Credential Manager. So this makes sure is at this point that is Git Credential Manager. Otherwise, it is going to cause you problem in the future. So I'll just say next here and enable file system caching also next. So keep both of these as untick and just say next and it will start to install in your computer. So after this is installed, you can launch a kit if you want. So I'm going to tick on this and I'm just going to say finish. So after that is done, you can see it will launch a cache bash shell here. So from here you can give some basic commands like ls, which we gave in Linux. So that will show you what are the files in that folder. So you can also do cd here. That is, you can go into the documents folder if you want. So after going to documents, you will see we are going to the documents. This bash we can use to uh, use for our kit, and also you can open bash in any folder which you like. Like suppose I'm going to open bash in this folder. So if you right click here, you will see that you can open bash bash in two types. That is git gui here or git bash here. So if I say git bash here, it is going to open a bash shell with command line and if I say git gui here, it will open a gui bash shell. So from here you can use the git by using gui here. Like create a new repository, clone existing repository and open existing repository that you can do through gui. The same thing you can do from bash. So that is Linux shell. It's a kind of Linux shell. So this is all about how you can install 
get bash in your windows system